Pedro, feeling irrationally jealous towards Thor, the new Rottweiler his wife Anna brought home, decided to install cameras to see why the dog was so protective of her. When he watched the recordings, he began to cry what he saw. Pedro always saw himself as a rational man, someone who carefully thought through decisions and rarely let emotions take over. But when Thor, a big Rottweiler, came into his life, and more specifically, into the heart of his wife Anna, he felt something he didn't expect, jealousy. Anna brought Thor home on a sunny Saturday, her eyes full of both excitement and nervousness. He was rescued from the streets, Pedro. He was alone and scared. How could we just leave him, she said while petting Thor's shiny coat. Pedro tried to argue, talking about the responsibilities, the care needed, and the strength in a dog like Thor. But deep down, he knew the decision was already made. Anna had a gift, the ability to act on her compassions without hesitation, unlike him who always weighed the pros and cons. In the first few days, Pedro watched Anna and Thor from a distance. He noticed how she spoke to the dog with a sweetness he rarely heard, and how Thor always followed her around, staying close, waiting for a touch or a glance. Pedro couldn't deny that what Anna did was kind, but something inside of him twisted every time he saw them together. Jealousy wasn't something Pedro usually felt, but now it was there, and it seemed like it wasn't going away. One night at dinner, Pedro tried to talk about his feelings, carefully choosing his words. Anna, don't you think we're spending too much time with Thor? Maybe we should... His voice trailed off when he saw the surprise and then sadness on Anna's face. Pedro, Thor has brought so much happiness to our home. I don't understand why this bothers you, she said, her confusion clear. That night, Pedro lay in bed, staring at the ceiling in the dark listening to Anna's peaceful breathing beside him. An idea began to form, a way to ease his insecurity and figure out what was happening when he wasn't around. He decided to install cameras in the house, telling himself it was for everyone's safety. But deep down, he knew the real reason was more complicated. It was an attempt to face the jealousy that had quietly taken root in his heart. In the days that followed, Pedro quietly went about his plan, installing small hidden cameras around the house. It's just for safety, a way to protect us, he told himself, even though he knew safety wasn't his only reason. The cameras were discreet, almost invisible, and he placed them in the living room where Anna usually played with Thor. In the kitchen, where she talked to the dog while making dinner, and in the hallway, where she often walked with Thor by her side. Pedro set the cameras to send the recordings directly to his computer so he could watch them at night when Anna and Thor were asleep. At first, he felt like he was invading his own home, spying on his wife's private moments with the dog. But curiosity, driven by the jealousy he didn't still want to admit, kept him going. As he watched the recordings, a pattern started to appear. There was nothing unusual in the videos. Anna talking to Thor about her day, laughing at his antics, or just sitting on the couch with Thor lying at her feet while she read or watched TV. It was a quiet, somewhat boring domestic life. Pedro started to question why he was watching the recordings. What was he hoping to find? A shocking discovery? A hidden secret? Every clip only showed him how groundless his jealousy was. Thor was just a dog, and Anna, his loving wife, was simply showing the kindness and care that made him fall in love with her. But one night, as Pedro reviewing the recordings, feeling more and more that this was all pointless, he came across a video that caught his attention. Anna was in the living room, talking on the phone. Her tone was different this time, filled with emotion. Curious, Pedro turned up the volume to listen closely to what Anna was saying. I'm glad you're doing well, Mom. Yes, I'm, I'm pregnant, Anna said, her voice shaking. Six months. I know I should have told you sooner, but I was scared. After so many years of trying and with the doctor saying it would be hard, I just didn't want to get my hopes up. And Pedro, I haven't told him yet. Pedro's world froze, pregnant, six months. A rush of unexpected joy mixed with deep regret filled his chest. Regret for doubting Anna, for letting jealousy cloud the love and trust between them. The truth was clear now. His jealousy was baseless a shadow created by his own insecurities. Faced with the true depth of Anna's feelings, Pedro knew he had to make things right, not just with her, but also with himself. 
The choice was clear. He needed to come clean about what he had done, confess about the cameras, and, more importantly, share in the joy and fear of the news Anna was still keeping to herself. The next morning, Pedro woke up with a new sense of purpose. Anna's pregnancy had reshaped his priorities, clearing away the jealousy that had clouded his mind. Determined to make things right and share the joy with Anna, he planned a special evening. It would be the perfect moment to open his heart, confess about the cameras, and, most importantly, celebrate the pregnancy that they had longed wished for. Pedro spent the day busy with preparations, carefully planning every detail. He ordered Anna's favorite dish from a nice restaurant, brought flowers to brighten the house, and, after some hesitation, decided to uninstall the cameras, a symbolic way of letting go of his doubts and insecurities. When Anna came home that night, she found the house transformed. Soft candlelight filled the room, and the smell of her favorite dinner filled the air. Surprised and touched, she looked at Pedro, who stood there with a nervous smile. Pedro, what's all this? She asked, her eyes filled with emotion and curiosity. A celebration, he started, a bit hesitant but gaining confidence as he spoke. A celebration of us, our love, and our future. Dinner was filled with laughter and light conversation, but Pedro couldn't shake the weight of his confession. After dessert, he knew it was time. Holding Anna's hands, he began to speak, the words coming more easily than he had expected. Anna, I want you to know how much I love you and value our life together. But recently, I let jealousy and insecurity get the best of me, Pedro confessed, pausing to see her reaction. She listened quietly, her face showing surprise and confusion. I installed cameras in the house, he continued, his heart racing. I was scared, scared of losing your love to anything or anyone, even Thor. The confession filled the room with tension and vulnerability. Anna pulled her hands away, taking in what she had just heard. Pedro, that hurts. It hurts because it shows you don't trust me, she said, trying to find the right words. But I also see the courage it took for you to tell me, and that means a lot. Pedro, fearing the worst, felt a glimmer of hope from her words. I... I also saw something in the recordings that made me realize how wrong I was to doubt our love, he said, his voice trembling. Anna looked at him, curious and a bit cautious. You're, um, you're pregnant, Anna. Six months, he revealed, looking into her eyes, hoping for some sign of how to continue. Anna's face showed shock and surprise, then relief and finally joy. She laughed, a bright, clear sound that filled the room. I was so scared to tell you, Pedro, afraid the news would be too much for us after everything we've been through. But seeing you now, I realize we should have faced it together, like we always do. Pedro moved to tears, hugged Anna tightly, feeling the weight lift off his shoulders. In that moment, their confessions and fears turned into a deeper connection, a silent promise to face the future together as a family. That night ended with Pedro and Anna sitting together, making plans and dreaming about their new family member. Old worries were replaced by a shared determination to build a future filled with love, trust, and unity. In the days that followed, the house felt much sweeter. Pedro, now free from his jealousy, focused on showing love and support for Anna every day. Each gesture and shared glance helped them move past their old troubles and toward a hopeful future. Anna, on her part, felt relieved and grateful for Pedro's honesty. Until then, her pregnancy had been a source of joy mixed with fear and uncertainty about Pedro's reaction and their future. But now, with the truth out and Pedro's strong support, she felt free to openly dream and plan for the baby's arrival. And so, that's a wrap. What do you think about this story? And as always, we really do appreciate your opinion, so let us know in the comments. And until next time, take care.